What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm coming at you with a booty burning workout girl. Mm. So I'm gonna be fully demonstrating 10 workouts that I absolutely love when working those glutes. I'm gonna be going into detail for you guys and kind of instructing. So if you're new to this, hopefully this can help you. And we'll be using a variety of equipment. Okay, as you can see guys, this is the very first workout that I'll be filming in our brand new at home studio. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button for new weekly videos. So lots more workout videos to come. Let's grow those glutes. Let's do it. Together we got this. Yes. Alrighty, baby girl, you already know we are starting with some glute activation. This is an important step that you do not want to ignore. Getting those glutes warmed up before shredding them up is essential to preventing injury and getting the most out of your session. Resistance bands are perfect for this and absolutely my preferred method. To warm up, I do a variety of compound exercises and pulses and get my entire body in the groove by mimicking most of the workouts I'll be doing. When using these bands, really squeeze and contract those glute muscles. It's easy in any booty workout to use secondary muscles without even realizing it. So remember, mind to muscle connection is important here and with any exercise for proper form and functionality. So the first exercise I like to do to get that booty popping are sumo squats. You always wanna make sure you select a weight that is totally doable. Don't be afraid to start with a light weight and eventually work your way up. Unlike your standard back squat, sumo squats place greater emphasis on your glutes and inner thighs. So keep your feet a little more than shoulder width apart and point your toes slightly outward. For me, I like to start with lighter weight, work my way up through pyramid sets. Be sure to keep that back straight, sit deep into your squat, then explode up, keeping that core nice and engaged the whole time. I typically shoot for four sets of 12 for each of these exercises you'll be seeing. The first set with light weight, the second set with moderate weight, the third with heavier weight, and then back to light weight for the last set, which I do until failure. For the second exercise, it's time to hit that cable machine and do some pull throughs. This is an awesome exercise as it's really undervalued. Grab a rope and adjust the cables to the lowest point. Select a light to moderate weight and stand facing away from the machine. You may want to take a couple big steps forward to ensure there's enough space for resistance. Grab the rope from in between your legs and hold it with your arms slightly bent, but still. In one motion, bend down as if in a deadlift and thrust those hips forward using your glutes. This is not only a booty blaster, but an awesome lower back workout too. So be sure to keep that back as flat as a board, girl. Alrighty, so for the third exercise, you're gonna wanna grab yourself an ankle strap. Clip that bad boy onto the lowest setting of the cable machine like the previous exercise. Make sure to tightly secure the ankle strap. If it's frayed, get rid of it, girl. You do not wanna embarrass yourself when it flies off your ankle and the weight slams because it's happened to me many times. Position yourself at about a 90 degree angle and keep your back neutral. Hold on to the cable machine for leverage and kick back your leg using solely those glutes. This exercise is called, you guessed it, cable kickbacks. I like to hold the weight for a second at full flex to really burn that booty up. Always be sure to go slow on the come down to ensure you're getting the most out of your workout. This is called eccentric motion. And if taken seriously, it can really be just as beneficial as the concentric motion, which is the flexing portion of the workout. Okay, girl, you didn't think we were done with the cable machine just yet, did you? The thing is, cables are simply amazing in giving you that range of motion, that freedom in movement that doesn't limit you like some machines can do. So for this fourth exercise, we're performing cable hip abductors. These target your outer booty like no other girl. This is the exercise you want in your life if you're looking to achieve that hourglass shape. These will get those hips popping out. Feel free to use the cable machine as leverage, but in this clip, I'm using the bench so I can step away from the machine and get better resistance. Keep your back straight, core tight as usual, and on the come down, feel free to extend your weighted leg past your supporting leg for increased range of motion and a little bit of an added challenge. Okay, girl, here we go. Now we're talking. It is time for those hip thrusts. 
if there's one exercise that I would personally rate number one in activating and targeting your entire glute, it's weighted hip thrusts. So what you're gonna wanna do is find yourself a bench about knee height, grab yourself a barbell, and add your desired weight. Make sure to keep your knees bent and position yourself so that your shoulder blades are rested at the edge or a little bit above on the bench. I go easy with weight on the movements because I have to be super careful with my lower back. I do have scoliosis, so slow and steady wins the race for me. You might also want to grab yourself a barbell pad so the bar doesn't dig into your hip bones. But if you don't have one, a rolled up yoga mat usually does the trick. So for this exercise, it's absolutely essential to make sure that each thrust comes straight from the glutes. If your glutes lack even just a little bit, this could cause a pull in your lower back, which could mean injury. Push the weight through your heels. Find a foot stance that helps maximize your glute activation. This is all about trial and error and finding what works for you. It's okay to have your knees pointed outward slightly to increase that glute activation. Keep your eyes forward. And a tip for head placement is at the bottom position of the hip thrust, when your butt is on or just above the floor, you should be looking at the wall directly in front of you, which makes for a neutral head position. At the top position, focus on where the wall meets the ceiling. When coming down in the thrust, you still want to keep those booty muscles and core engaged as much as possible. I also love to incorporate static holds to really feel that intense burn. Next up are single leg glute bridges. I love these because they isolate each butt cheek and they're honestly fun to do in my opinion. You're going to place your heel towards the edge of the bench, toes facing up. With the opposite leg bent, you're going to thrust upward, activating that glute. Keep your shoulders and arms flat on the floor for support during this movement. Hold for a second at the top of the bridge before returning slowly to the rest position. With your feet being above your head and shoulders, you are generating more force production in the concentric motion. The angle of this exercise is what makes it unique in not only working the glutes, but the hamstrings and lower back as well. If this is a new exercise for you, start off with both feet on the bench until you get the stability down. Next up are elevated lunges. I'm using plates to create the elevation. However, I definitely suggest using risers if you have access to them. They're just more stable to use. Adding in that little bit of elevation makes a world of difference because it allows you to sit lower into the lunge, hence greater stretching of the glute, which creates better muscle tension and contraction of the muscle. The better the stretch and contraction, the more overall growth you'll achieve. I love using dumbbells for this exercise because they can conveniently rest by your sides so that you can comfortably perform the exercise while adding in that perfect extra resistance. Make sure that your front knee doesn't go past your toes and keep your back knee from touching the ground. This exercise is perfect for really shaping up that booty. Number eight is curtsy lunges. Girl, if you're looking to get that side booty sore, try this exercise. You can use dumbbells or a barbell. Keep back completely straight and upright. Start from standing and step your left leg behind you and to the right so your thighs cross, bending both knees as if you were curtsying. Make sure your front knee is aligned with your front ankle. Return yourself to standing and switch sides to complete one rep. This is gonna give you that rounded backside while also targeting your inner thighs. The next exercise are Roman chair holds. These are very similar to Superman's, which are performed on the floor, but using a Roman chair is my preferred method. You can use plates for added weight, but for those who are new or struggle with low back pain like myself, feel free to stick with just body weight. This exercise is super easy because you're simply maintaining a position using your lower back and glute muscles. To get the most out of this exercise, just squeeze those glutes throughout the entire set and always keep that core tight. By the end, your butt muscles should literally be shaking because this exercise relies on your lower back as well. It's a perfect workout to help make that upper booty pop, girl. And last but not least, Romanian deadlifts. You can use dumbbells or a barbell for this exercise. Start with the weight at hip level and draw your shoulders back, keeping your spine straight. Push those hips back as you slowly lower the weight towards your feet. On the come down, be sure to pull through your booty and hamstrings while keeping that core tight. Press your hips forward to come into a standing position, squeezing the glutes at the top. At this point, the weight should be back at hip level. I love Romanian deadlifts because they target your hamstrings a bit more than your standard deadlift, which in turn will make that booty appear more perkier. 
Romanian deadlifts are the safest option for people with low back pain because it puts less pressure on your lower back. So these are my absolute favorite when it comes to deadlift variations. All right, you guys, Ooh, I'm feeling it right now. Bad idea to leave this freaking hair half down and all over the place. I'm sweating my bum off right now, for real. All right, y'all, looking like a hot mess, feeling like a hot mess. That was a damn good workout, I don't know. Y'all gotta try that, let me know what you think. You will blast your stuff up, believe that. Hope you found this video helpful. I gotta go shower and just relax now as I'm done. Definitely stay tuned. Lots more workouts to come, you guys. You already know. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.